And now, from the dark corners of the internet, where exploits run wild, packets aren't the only things getting sniffed, and the beer flows steady, along with cocktails. Paul Security Weekly! This podcast is sponsored by the SANS Institute, the most trusted source for computer security training, certification, and research. Visit them on the web at sans.org to learn more. And by Tenable Network Security, creators of Nessus, the world's best vulnerability scanner. Jump through our st- jumpstart your security program today and ensure Security Center CV, the continuous monitoring solution at www.tenable.com. And by Black Squirrel, pen test networks from your browser. Exploit the limits of network security through just a browser. Have a Chrome exploit in your toolkit? Good. But for the rest of us, there's Black Squirrel. Visit blacksquirrel.io for more information. Because it is now time to fire up a packet capture, pour yourself an adult beverage of some variety, and give the intern control of your Bitcoin miner. Because here's your host. Here's a man who is excited to be back touching Python again at the rest area. Paul Asadorian! Hello, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Paul's Security Weekly. I'm your host, Paul Asadorian. I'm very excited to be here on episode 405 for February 5th, 2015, where the Patriots are now four-time Super Bowl champions. Count them four. 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 Adorning my, my Brady jersey because, well, I have a man crush on Tom Brady. It's kind of a very disturbing thing, but I do. I do. When he rejects you, do you feel deflated? Uh... No. <laughs> only slightly. When but you've won four, by, you but know only what? by one PSI. You know what? <laughs> you know what? I know. Did you hear the Atlanta Falcons have been convicted of piping crowd noise into the studio? What? Yes. <laughs> and there's another team, I forget which one, that was sending text messages. Yes. Wait, say say that again. So the there was some there's some rule that uh, if you're up in the booth, like yep. in the owner's box, I think. Yeah. You can't send text messages to the people on the field. They were convicted of that. Uh, the Atlanta oh. Falcons were convicted of pumping crowd noise through the speakers at the, stadium? Sta- at the stadium, like when the other team is on offense, to disrupt them. Interesting. And I'll have you know there's absolutely nothing to do with deflate. Yeah, there's, no, there's, no, there's no crime there. Anyway, I love the Patriots. I think it's friggin' awesome. I'm excited. And I adore it's my jersey. wicked pissa. It's wicked pissa. I'm joined here in the studio by Mr. Larry Pesci. Yay! Mr. Back. Jack Daniels here Back as well. Again. I am. Yes, I making I cocktails. Am. Finally, we've got Haley. real cocktails for us this evening. Well, we did have some. We did have some. We need more, actually. Yeah, this we'll Sazerac was delicious. I figure delicious. we just dive into the classic Sazerac. We don't, we don't know where it would go from there. but yes, We I never to, know. I, That's I part of the fun, I have to be Jack. careful. I have to work tonight. So. So you, yeah, you've got to work gonna tonight. i to take it easy. I'll drink his. On the lines via Skype. Mr. Joff Thayer. What's going on, Joff? G'day, gentlemen. How are you? It's another lovely Thursday evening. Good to be here. Yes, yes. Are you a Patriots fan, Joff? I am a huge Patriots fan, and I thoroughly enjoyed the game, except that my house was full of Seahawks fans, so it was a bit of a challenge. And right up until the very end, then you can laugh in all of their faces, which is just hilarious. I drank a few beers and got rowdy with them, so it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> On the lines via Skype, we also have Mr. Carlos Perez. Welcome, Carlos. Hey, Paul. Happy to be here. Yes, nice to have you, my friend. Um, let's see. We, we want to get some announcements in before we get to Larry's technical segment. Yeah. Cold weather got you down. It's going to be minus 20 wind chill tonight here in, in uh, Rhode Island. So t-shirt weather. So t-shirt weather. Yeah, buy a hack naked shirt. <laughs> wear it outside. Yeah, see? Look, yeah, you see, could t-shirt weather. Yeah. You could wear that in minus I bet, 20. I bet her nipples get like, Whoa. bam. Warm up <laughs> with embedded device security assessments. A two-day hosted class at the Sands ICS Summit on February 25th through the 26th. Two-day class security week. The listeners receive a 10% discount when using the code SecWeek10. You can visit securityweekly.com forward slash IOT to learn more about the class and uh, register for Sands ICS, which will be in sunny Florida, where it'll be a lot warmer than minus 20. Mm-hmm. 
So I strongly mec- recommend that you do that. Larry's teaching SAN 617 wireless ethical hacking in Orlando, Austin, Texas, Baltimore, Maryland, and Berlin, Germany. Woo. Dates are in the wow. show notes. So make sure you go to the SANS website to register for all of Larry's courses as well. Well, I guess you, you would pick one this or year. Or all of them. Or all I mean, of them. I guess. If, you want to if you really want to have Larry more than once. If Which, you have lots of Larry love, pick them all. Yes. yes. Security Week listeners receive a 10% off discount on our store using the discount code IHACKNAKED. That's at shop.securityweekly.com. Order your Hack Naked shirts today. We got lady shirts. We got men's shirts. We got red shirts. We got black shirts. We got black shirts with pink. We got pink guys. We got pink girls. We got smoke naked shirts if you're into that kind of thing. We got it all. Just there's the beautiful look. There's you, the beautiful hack naked when, shirt when, with the guy you, on when it. You smoke naked, don't drop the ash in your lap. That's right. That's oh, what it is. It should say that on the back. Don't drop the. There's the the classic. Otherwise, we actually, you've got you got vasectomy version two if you do that. Yeah, now. that's right. So, you, oh, you on the oh, back. Oh. Say, there's the stop, red one. You should beautiful. say stop looking at my ash. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you go buy a hack naked t-shirt. Shop.securityweekly.com. <clears throat> Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and join our Google groups mailing list and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can go to wiki.securityweekly.com. Check out all the show notes for the show. Subscribe to our social media. View the videos. Listen to the audio. Um, make sure you visit our wiki, wiki.securityweekly.com. On to the technical segment. Larry's going to do a technical segment, which I'm very excited about. I'm going to sit back. I'm going to smoke my pipe. This is my pipe. I want to give a shout out to Jaron. Jaron. Jaron is one of my my fellow fellow coworkers at Tenable. And uh, speaking of which, Marine, wake up! (laughs) 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 No, you can't. You can't wake up, Marine. Why? You have to give her a, a break. She needs a rest. Because she's got one in the oven. So oh, congratulations! Well, not publicly so to Marine on the show. So, so yes. Mar- I'm pushing for the name Paula. I don't know how much Mar- success. Mar- Mar- Marine, be prepared to wake up because you're going to do, do that, that a lot. Every, you're yes. going to make that up about two every two hours, yes. <laughs> right after you pee. Uh. <laughs> so uh, I want to thank Jaron um, or during <laughs> for the yes. pipe tobacco. He sent me a whole bunch of pipe tobacco. So I'm just going to smoke it on this show. I'm going to smoke it on the next on the Story Geek show. I'm going to smoke my pipe. Uh, with the lovely gifts from co-worker Jaron. So thanks for that. And now, on to Mr. Larry Pesci for the fabulous technical segment. All right. So let's do it. So um, a little while back, the the folks over at Hack5, uh, Darren and um, uh, Snubsy, uh, decided they were going to do a segment on installing and listening to GSM traffic uh, as in cell phone traffic with the RTLSDR, the uh, inexpensive uh, $20 software to find radio. And I've swapped out my antenna because the one that comes with it sucks. Um, so uh, listening to GSM traffic with that, with uh, Wireshark and uh, a tool called AirProbe, which was great until you actually tried to now, within the last couple of months or so, tried to go install AirProbe um, because the the sub, the folks that wrote AirProbe and have it on their website, and the name is escaping me at the moment, uh, GNUmonks.org, I think it is. Um, sure. Let's go they were in the wrong directory and did rm-rf in the directory. And wiped out the was it the GNU Monks website, including <sighs> all of the AirProbe uh, source code. Is that really? They didn't have a backup. Huh? Mm, apparently not. Um, Ouch. <laughs> yeah, there are some forks of the project on um, GitHub. Mm-hmm. However, they are older and don't have all of the most latest bug fixes that you really want. But didn't all that didn't stuff. someone have the source from downloading it from the website? Probably. If somebody has that and is willing to share it with me, that yeah, would be great. That would be great. Let's put that out there. Um, Absolutely. Because, yes, and especially if it's the absolute most latest within the last three months or so, because it really had some um, uh, good updates to that, and, and we'll get that hosted somewhere for folks because it's, it's an awesome tool. However, some folks went and essentially recreated AirProbe, especially with the intent of using it with the RTL SDR cheap twenty dollar receive only dongle, um, within uh, GNU Radio and GNU Radio Companion. 
Um, it was relatively easy to install. It had a couple of dependencies, um, and that is the GRGSM project. So, uh, Chris, if you're willing to uh, share my screen over here. Um, so, uh, Peter Krisik, P, uh P-T-R, K-R-Y-S-I-K. I don't know if I can make it big. Hey, yes, there we go. Um, he has uh, his GRGSM GNU radio blocks with all the install instructions. Um, he's having you do the install via uh, Pi Bombs. I could not get it to install via Pi Bombs. What is Pi Bombs? It's a graphical Python repository similar to Apt. Hmm. And it's Graph it's weird. However, it's probably one of the and it's uh, largely supported by the GNU Radio project. So the way you're installing a lot of the GNU Radio stuff is through through that. However, I went and uh, cloned it, and I wanted to say um, that very easily doing it uh, via CMake make make install works just fine. And then I was able to use the stuff in the uh, GRC directory. So. Uh, and then uh, I believe it was the receiver for no, it was not. In any case, it's in this section for your GRC stuff. So I've done just that. I'll go back over to the virtual machine here, and I've started up uh, GNU Radio Companion, the graphical tool for constructing radio blocks uh, with GNU Radio and a software-defined radio. This is the go-to tool for a software-defined radio. And I've got AirProbe RTL SDR loaded um, within uh, my window. And it's as simple as once you, you have all of the dependencies. I don't know how to make it bigger. I honestly don't. That's what she said. But that's not the fun part. The fun part is hitting the play button and having it going and execute all the blocks. And you Ooh, end up with this that looks window. Ooh, that looks pretty. So I was playing with this right before the show, and I was having problems finding um, GSM signal here in the studio. And that's, my antenna is not at the appropriate orientation. It I don't have not. the extender card. It's not really the right antenna either. But I did have some luck with this at home. Now, what I found that I needed to do, uh, I'm going to close this window and go back here. What I found that I needed to do is in the QT GUI range box, it's a bunch of variables. I needed to change the start and stop values uh, because the start values are in the 900 megahertz range. However, here in the US for GSM traffic, we can go as low as 850 megahertz. So I had to change the start value down to to the 850 megahertz so I could actually make the radio tune down that low um, because the GUI wouldn't let me do that. So I had to change that. Um, so in that value of start, it's 850E6, so 850 megahertz. So I did change that initially. So now with that uh, changed, we can now start uh, tuning stuff in. And when I was at home, uh, I found some, you, we can use the sliders to uh, go through and the, the, the knobs and all that good stuff. Uh, but what I did find, and I want to say it was right around eight po uh, 891.4 megahertz that I could find some GSM traffic. There does not appear to be any here, however. But what you can do is then start scrolling through and starting to see some stuff. Um, of course, I don't want to spend too long at this just for sake of sake of the show. You'll start to see in the, the middle here, you'll see a little bubble. Yeah, sort but there's of. a blip in the middle there. Yeah, so that is the, the radio itself. That's the, the, the radio itself. You will see a larger blip. And, of course, it's not not doing anything for me. However, let's take a look at this. Whoop. This is what it looked like when I was at home. Interesting. So, we've got it's a little bit wider because it's wider screen on mine and there's a significantly larger blip at 8914. And I tuned there, and I could see the signal, and I'm like, great, it, nothing's happening. So what you can do, one way to know that something is happening, is the terminal window that you started GNU Radio Companion from will have output. 
and you'll notice it says using Volk Machine AVX 64 MMX. Uh, it will start. You'll start seeing a lot of 2B characters and a bunch of other stuff going uh, going past the screen, very much like this stuff. You'll see some other characters, but lots of 2Bs. 2B, 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 and let's see if I can. So lots of 2Bs. When that happens, you know you did something right. Because that's the GSM traffic. Now, Interesting. what um, I ha found that I had to do when I had that bubble of the actual mm -hmm. signal, it wouldn't work for me. But if I did the uh, PPM clock correction to about 31, so it's a little bit different clock frequency, so they can do some adjustment for that. I set mine to about 31 when I found that bubble, and all of a sudden, this window started spitting out crazy stuff. So when it starts spitting out crazy stuff, what um, AirProbe RTL SDR does is it sends it to a, a UDP socket, i.e. we're going to start sending that to a FIFO. So what you do from there is open another terminal window. That's not the one I want. I want this one. And I created a shell script so I didn't have to start this up every time. You want um, Wireshark dash K dash capital Y single quotes not ICMP and and a GSM tap and single quote dash I L zero. So you want it Wireshark to listen on the loopback interface. I went and made it so I didn't have to start Wireshark as root by granting additional access to the loopback interface for all users. Uh, otherwise, you'd have to start that uh, start Wireshark um, that way. So now I'm just going to run that shell script. It's going to start Wireshark for me. And it's going to start listening. Yeah. Or okay. not. So let's go back here. Control C. Right. So Let's try this again. Yeah, yeah. Disabling Lua because I'm not. I'm running as root. So now it will automatically start. And it will start pulling stuff in from that loopback interface, uh, and start displaying stuff, which of course isn't doing it here. But I just happen to have a capture from home. Yay! GSM traffic. I have no idea what any of these mean. but So there's little use of GSM uh, near my house, sort of in the backwoods, and especially at about the 11 o'clock at night or so when I was capturing it. But we've and got less GSM and less message. GSM stuff. Yes. Yeah, still, still a decent amount of GSM uh, in use, especially if fallback and, and folks that have older phones. You probably find a lot more of it in metropolitan areas, and I am far from a metropolitan area. Mm-hmm. Um, so that 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 says to uh, my lots of alarm systems may still be using GSM. Um, so we've now got uh, GSM stuff and take a look at some of the header information, signal to noise ratio information, um, system information type. Y your guess is as good as mine because I have not de delved into what all this stuff means, but it's there. And we can capture packets for twenty dollars in free software. Okay, no idea. GSM tap header, signal noise ratio, paging type request, net mobile identity, no identity code, channel needed, any channel. I want to say for some of these identity codes, I picked up um, some specific um, vendors that they identified. Page, specific page vendors. request is th that's still a phone, not a pager. Yeah, right? okay. yeah. Um, max power CCH five. No idea, but the cell is not barred. Channel description. Tell me about my channel. Okay, hopping channel, no.